What's up y'all, I'm Black Talent Sport, that's Bullet. And today's video is gonna be a fitment wheel and tires buyer guide. I get asked often what wheels and what's, what, uh, what, what tires fit. I see people asking that often, so I think I just make a little video. Plus, I am gonna um, dive a little bit more into uh, lifting the Ford Explorers and what tires work and uh, what tires don't necessarily work. All right, so stick around for that video. Oh, and but first, uh, before we go any further, please, I wanna ask you guys, remember to smash that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I come out with these videos. I greatly appreciate it. So let us now talk about a few things. First, let's talk about what wheels actually fit in terms of size. Right now, for the Explorers, you can get um, wheels anywhere between the 18 all the way up to 22 inch wheels Very few people put 18s on they typically go down uh, To 18 because they want to get like that really beefy off-road look which you can um, for that You can uh, usually go like in the 60 series tire size like two 245 60 18 um, which is it's still fine because you're going down the entire side. You just have to uh, make sure you're getting wheels that will actually clear the brakes. All right, up next, the first, the next two things are very important to know, uh, which is the bolt pattern and the bore. The bolt pattern for Explorers are 114.3 millimeters. And you're going to see it as times five, which is for five lugs. There are five lugs set up. The wheel bore is simply that hole uh, right through the middle of the wheel. Uh, you have to make sure that you're getting a wheel that has the correct bolt pattern and bore. Uh, the bore for the Explorers is going to be at um, 63.4 millimeters. Okay, so make sure you're getting a wheel that has a 63.4 millimeter bore. Now knowing that, you can get any wheel that you want, basically. Uh, with that that bolt pattern and uh, knowing that center bore. Um, another thing we have to talk about too is the offset. Uh, the range of offset that uh, fits their floors, they're, they're kind of narrow, it's a narrow range. And the range is only plus 30 all the way through plus 48 millimeters. So that's a really narrow range, you know. When I was getting wheels, it's like I was told, you know, the Explorers have a really odd uh, you know, range of offset, so don't get your high hopes up about getting something that has too deep of a dish or, or concaveness. I really like the concave look, but hey, I, I had to get what basically fits. <laughs> Another thing is the uh, the widest tire I've ever seen on an Explorer was uh, 295-45R20, and that had to be on a 10 and a half inch uh, wide rim. Um, the offset was uh, 45 millimeters. To me, that's the baller fitment right there. If I, if or when, I don't know, if I ever took the lift off a bullet and I went to go and drop it, I want that hella flush look, which you can achieve with that 245, uh, 295, 45, 20 with a 45 millimeter offset. That's hella flush. But if I did lower the car, that would be the fitment that I will be going after. Now you also have some people that decide to put 22 inch wheels on Explorers. I'm not a fan of that type of fitment, but you know, it looks somewhat good, but for me, it's impractical. You know, potholes, live in New York City, we got hella potholes and we, you know, the more sidewall <laughs> that you have, the more cushion you have to prevent uh, a disaster from happening. You're bending a wheel and it just wouldn't work out for me where I live. But they, you know, they look pretty decent with them. I've seen a few, quite a few. Uh, but if you are interested in that 22 inch size wheel, then um, sizes that I've seen people order 265, 40, 20. Um, on a 10, 10, um, a 10 inch wide wheel. Um, I'm not too sure about the offset. If you have 22s on your Explorer, you know the range of offsets for 22s. Let me know them in the comments below. All right, so let us talk about fitment for the lifted Explorers. Right, I have the Traxster two inch lift all around. 
and uh, my wheel fitment or my wheel fitment specs are going to be this. They're basically uh, Fuel Mavericks in matte black. They're 20 by 9 with a uh, plus 38 offset. All right. Now I also have hub one inch hub centric spacers. If the camera can pick that up, so that's one inch there. If not, I'll show a uh, a better picture with the wheel off. I'm not taking the wheel off of this video alone. Now, if you wanted to um, get a hold of the one inch hub centric spacers, uh, it comes to turn out they are custom made. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Uh, you can pick them up from Rampage Auto Sports. I will link the uh, phone number in the description of this video. All right, um, I didn't really realize that they were custom until I decided to contact um, the shop and see where to get them from for the purpose of my viewers getting them. So if you want a pair, you're gonna have to call Rampage Auto Sports. Uh, let them know that Black Talent Sports sent you and they'll hook you up with a set a custom set he actually gets them from a machinist and he gives them the specs and he makes them um, but with that one inch spacer and my tires are 265 50 20 uh, that gives me a little bit of poke it wasn't intended to get the poke but I needed clearance so it's not as flush as I would pretty, uh, pretty much like but um, you know hey it doesn't look bad, so I'm okay with it. I'll show you the view from the front. So I get a little bit of poke, and that's due to that one inch spacer. And uh, when I had the 275, 55, 20s, I got a lot of poke. And I didn't necessarily like it too much. It didn't, it didn't look natural. So I went down to the 27, 265, 55, 20, and it looks way more natural. Poke is not as dramatic as the 275s was and uh, I think it just really overall made it look very good so now why did I go with the one inch hub centric spacers um, well basically it involves cutting um, I was trying I was rubbing with the 275 55 20s um, both right here there is, or there used to be, if you look at your Explorer, there used to be, there is a seam well of some sort. All of the panels here, they come together, I suppose, and it used to bulge out. If you look at your Explorer, you're going to see a bulge there. And there was also some rubbing down in there. Um, you know, it rubbed in a few places. So we were trying to get away from the rubbing. So uh, my tire guy, uh, when he installed the lift kit, he put, he cut, uh, had to do a few cuts in a few places to get the wheel uh, to fit, the tire that I had to fit. Um, it pretty much solved the problem, except when I turned left, all the way left, locked the wheel left, it rubbed a little bit. And um, I basically kept it like that for the, the entire time that I had those 275s, I waited until they wore down, and then I wisely uh, listened to my tire that went down to the 275. So basically, if you want to run a 275 tire, you can, um, but you just can't run a, two, a, a 55 series tire. That's too tall of a tire, and that was the problem. Uh, if you go down to 50 series, no, 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 uh, no cutting, no rubbing, no nothing. So the more safer size to go if you are lifted will be 265, 50, 20. Um, and that's also if you did not want to do any cutting, that's a safe size to go to uh, with that two inch track stuff. All right, so again, I'll just reiterate it. If you don't want to do any cutting, but you want to get some decently sized all-terrain tires such as these uh, needle rich grapplers, just go with 265, 50, 20. This way, you won't have to cut a thing. So right now, I'm this cut to fit the bigger tires. It's with the minor rubbing. If I wanted to go that route again, but I won't. All right.
Well, all right, well, that's gonna wrap up this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Please remember to continue to smash that like button, y'all. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, helps out my videos, helps it get around to other viewers such as yourself. And please uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I want you to remember to have a blessed day and peace out.